Hello, we're um, <clears throat> back with Bardstale 3, and uh, we're going to continue exploring the catacombs, at least the first level of them. Uh, so we should finish that in this session. Uh, I've finished uh, regenerating my spell points, which means basically I left the computer on, the virtual computer, and ignored it for a while, and my party stood around, and eventually their spell points refilled. That's so you missed that exciting um, the exciting adventure of waiting around. So I'm gonna recast my buff spells. some sense making light is a buff spell. Who has a torch anyway? Use five. Nope, use four. It's, it somehow drops some keystrokes in certain situations that... because I want to press U4 and somehow it's deciding I'm pressing four. I'm totally not. U4. Okay. I think that's actually a Mac problem, not a emulator problem. U3. U... Run away. U2? Okay, no one has a torch. We'll use a spell. Oh, actually, I should fight just a little bit because I think I need like a hundred some odd experience points for the next level, at least on my fighters. I think I needed 131, so that should be enough. Advance Grisnock. Some luck. Oaken shields. Get some dexterity. Strong in the arm already went up. Chantel gets dexterity. And my rogue gets dexterity. I think it's the rogue got the best of that. Okay, what level is my monk? At some point, um, the monk's hand-to-hand -hand damage starts eclipsing reasonable weapon damage. I think it's around level 10. So, I'll keep using the halberd for now. They do not have many hit points, and they're bad at dodging arrows. Well, I say that.
So the priests speak another word. Seek another word, not speak another word. They want me to speak another word. Or maybe they don't know another word. I don't know. I think these are the priests. by seven magic eaters. <laughs> now I know that the magic eaters are not very strong, but they always used to scare me. Because I thought they were going to, like, I don't know, make my magic items break or something. Let's see if I can disarm a trap without getting poisoned. Poison... Stop trying to disarm trips with for now. Five phantoms. Star flare on those phantoms. If none of them die, I think it's I'm just gonna use a flame horn. Or a fire horn. It may sound academic, but they're two different items. Attack no. Attack, attack, attack. Use this fire horn with seventy eight charges. Attack. Defend defend. and no more phantoms. I think our cash law is in a much better state though. I mean obviously better than when I was paying to cure a poison I didn't need to, but I just got a thousand gold for each one of my characters. I 
I think the Gore Jewelers have a lot of hit points. Or that might be Gore Suckers. One wonders, can Gore Drulers and Gore Suckers make good friends? Cast the poison, cure the poison that Grisnok just got hit with. Ooh, a mithril scale. That is pretty useful. Bards can use scale, so this is an upgrade. So now my worst armor class in easy striking distance is negative two. my buff spell up again, the Mystic Shield, negative four. I feel like somehow the emulator timing is different than what I remember. And things are expiring faster than what I remember. Dark Priest doing mean things, so I'm gonna shoot him full of arrows from a distance. I think because a lot of the times they cast area effect spells. Oh, throw that shuriken. Well, I don't know if shurikens can shoot that far. Uh, yeah, a lot of times they do area effect spells that have distance limits. I'm going to cast the um, Bring On Ballad in case I get nuked some. I'm going to cast Inspector Touch is my ranged spell. So I don't know if he's just hard to hit with arrows, or if arrows don't go that far, and it doesn't tell me that. I'm going to try a little bit more. Partly while the rogue gets into position to backstab him. Oh, well, Spectre Touch hit for a lot more this turn. Item, item, item. A canteen is not what I was looking for. So this square has darkness in it, which means um, any light you have running gets turned off, and if you try to cast, you try to use a new light source, like um, light a lamp or cast a light spell, it gets turned off after a moment of being able to see where it's around you. That moment can be good enough to map effectively or figure out where you are. Oh, a shield ring. That's a bunch more class points reduced. It's a, 
There's like a bunch of slots that you have. They don't really show you the slots, but um, everyone can wear, theoretically, like uh, some kind of helm, a shield, um, a weapon, a ranged weapon, gloves, a cloak, an instrument, be it. Something like that. You can't wear two rings, but you can always add a ring to everything else. spot. Oh no, it, it wasn't. Because my compass is still working. I'm confused. Uh, because I just recast the um, armor buff spell and it just went away again. Poison Needle. So that was a fail, but n I didn't set it off. So one possibility... No, I can set it off by typing the right thing. I thought it might be one off, I would use a node or a label, but I happen to already know that happens repeatedly. Oh, here's a small error in my ability to understand the built in 
auto map. There was a door here that I thought was just an open gap. Thank you for summoning that wolf for me to kill. It would be nice if I could target the spot where a summon will go. There's a weird thing. If there's so, so here you have monsters A and B, groups A and B, and they always are in distance order. So if I attack um, group A with everyone and kill the wolf and then they summon another wolf that will go back into slot A and I could theoretically kill it again kill the second wolf in the same round so there's a wolf in A, I kill the wolf in A the enemy summons a new wolf into A and I kill A again. That's a thing that can happen. But if there's just the enemy summoner, so there's just him and A, because they always start with A. I can't attack B. I can't, like, attack where they would summon. So if they summon, I can't possibly attack it. It's... Which sometimes is the optimal thing to do. Um, you can, like, have a bunch of summoners fighting you, and your mage is shooting them at range, and... What you really want to do is just keep shooting their summon, killing their summons with your fighters. afraid of the adept demon but I think he's actually kind of a uh, you know a softy and here we'll find out What's he going to do? He casts a spell, no clear effect. Yeah, I think Adept Demon sounds scary.
Sometimes I wish I could see which of the enemies I was hitting. Up. Like, so there's four demon gari. I know. How likely is it to be, like, for example, how much damage does a given one take to go down? Hard to tell when they're in a clump like this. And how likely is it that a area effect spell of one of my mages would help a lot or not at all? I mean, make a significant impact, I guess. I feel like the adept demon should like summon other demons. Or I mean, you know, I kinda don't want him to right now, but what else do high level demons do? They cast spells, they they can t go between planes, I don't know. Stuff like that. But really typical with summoning more demons. stepped out of the dungeon because my spell points are getting quite low. Um, what I'm looking for is to have enough spell points to reliably be able to cast more light spells to where I am before I leave. If I get down to zero spell points and then I have a hard battle and then I can't find my way out, it's a bad scene. There's definitely a bug in the PC DOS version of this game where uh, you barely get any harmonic gems. I certainly hope that doesn't affect us here in this version. Everyone 
needs 13,000 experience. Or in other words, they need to hit 50,000 experience total. Okay, so since I don't know any gems, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over here to right from the Mad God's Temple and walk away from the game for a moment to wait for the spell points to come back. See you in a bit. Okay, I can... Restored my spell points, I decided to run off and change my character names so that they weren't randomly copied out of books when I had no creativity. Uh, my monk is now Hop Blossom, representing her dwarfish roots. Uh, I named my thief a rogue Elena, the, my conjurer Elendor, and my gnomish magician Griselda. They're all the same people. Um, it probably isn't that important to anyone. Just mentioning it. instead of option H. Okay, so option H moves where the little dude is. Command H makes my window disappear. A feature of Mac OS I kind of never wanted. It's like a, I've disabled it when I've had passed Max. I just turned off the hotkey permanently. Someone wants to do a group attack on the Gore Droolers. And I think it's going to be my bard. Oh, I'm sorry they're not all dead. It's really jerky that scrolling at that speed. I mean, it's already jerky, and that's not the emulator, that's just kind of how they did the scrolling. I mean, maybe on a real Commodore with a CRT, it wouldn't look 
so clunky because it would be persistence from the CRT phosphors or something. It's a little surprising because um, I think the scrolling on the earlier games was better. And the coding is generally tighter in this version, like the load times are way lower. There's a bunch of small ways you can kind of tell it's a more mature product. things where I'm pretty sure there's something bad but I want to know what it is so I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> He might have equipment. I think I want to, whoop, I want to go sl slower, not faster. Oftentimes you go into these areas, <coughs> these little closets, and you know the game has decided that this room should have an encounter. But you enter the room, and then you turn to the side or something to go to leave because you think there's nothing there, and then the encounter happens. It's a very, it's just like a strange delay. I don't, I don't have any idea how that makes sense code-wise. Was the intent to allow people to run through encounter areas sometimes? Because that's the only reason I can think of for a delay.
don't think the Dark Priest is worth it, but he didn't let me run, so... I can hit with arrows from 30 feet away. Just not. So I don't hit this guy too easily, maybe. I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy with my rogue because that seems cost effective. She missed. Snuck up on him for two turns and then missed. Let's try to try again. Sneak turn one. I guess a shadow shift makes you magically sneaky, but doesn't make you magically accurate. Yeah, I missed again. I'm giving up. Advanced. Fine, cast the spell at me. Oh, too far for that. of Shadow Drifters just recently, and they were kind of mean, but not that bad. As long as they just keep missing, that's fine by me. That is not a miss. What did we disbelieve? Are Shadow Drifters illusions? Or did they summon something that I missed? Or create an illusion that I missed? Things that make illusions are in a way really great. Because <clears throat> you get experience points for defeating illusions if you just disbelieve them. And you can disbelieve them if you have high saving throws. If you have high enough saving throws, you can just kind of keep letting them create illusions and having them auto-defeat. What is going on with this pause and this music?
12 stairs down are the right thing to do yet. But we've definitely finished mapping this level. So you can see some of the things that weren't on the auto map. There were several pits, or several traps rather, um, some messages, one of which seems probably important. Uh, some darkness, an explosion, hit point training room. So the auto map gave us all the skeleton, but um, in order to get a to find out what's really there, we still had to record it ourselves. Now in this case, um, I suppose a precise map of where everything is didn't help that much. Do I really need to go find that s silent zone again and get my bard's song cancelled again? Not really. I'm sort of falling behind on fighting these wolves. What I really need now is a spell that hits all groups. I mean, in general I need it, and I could also sure use it in this fight. I'm to some extent compensating by stacking up healing bard songs. Maybe I should instead to stack up armor class. Oh, someone just died. That is not ideal. I should have been watching her armor class better. Or her hit points better. Zephyr Lord is finally dead. die is getting their hit points refilled while we slowly take down the rest of the wolves. Normally one of the 
things I would do now is use the bard song that lets me run away from everything so I get back to the healer quickly. But the bard is the one that's dead. Sometimes it kind of bothers me that there's no morale, etc. system, because being attacked by a single imp when I don't really want to be and I'm level 8 or above feels somehow wrong. It feels like his fr he should have heard from his friends, like how many imps have I killed by now? I don't know. Probably not that many. Fifteen? Okay, here we are at the healer, heal, and 7,000 gold gone. Drink booze in combat. Looks like it. Experience points do I have? 40,000, so I'm still 10,000 or so short 
from leveling up. But I did finish mapping the first level of the catacombs. So, ending this one for now, outside the gates of Scarabray.